Close your eyes and focus your attention on the breath. Watch the breath all the way in, all the way out. Breathe deeply in a calm way. And if deep breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't feel good, you can change. Try to find a rhythm that feels good for the body right now. You can choose the way you breathe, and this will have an impact on your body, and it also have an impact on your mind. We meditate this way because we need to train the mind. The mind has a lot of power, as the Buddha discovered on the night of his awakening. That power can be used to create a lot of suffering, or it can be used to put an end to suffering. We live in a world where there's aging, illness, death, but as you discovered, the power of the mind is such that you don't have to suffer from these things. But to take advantage of that power, you need to train it. So here we are training it. We're not using whips, we're not using chains. We're just using our mindfulness and alertness. Mindfulness means keeping something in mind. In this case, you want to keep the breath in mind. And remember, this is where you want to stay. Alertness is watching what you're actually doing. And then you add a quality called ardency. You try to do this well. It's a simple exercise, but it's not easy. In other words, it requires constant attention. But that's the power of the mind, constant attention. Because you look at your actions and you realize your actions can make a big difference, so you want to pay attention to what you're doing and the results you're getting. We all want happiness. We all act on the desire for happiness. You know, we end up sometimes doing things that cause a lot of pain. Why is that? It's because we don't really know what we're doing. Or we know what we're doing, but we don't know the consequences. So if you want to know the consequences of your actions, you have to watch them consistently. This is why we need to develop long-term alertness and mindfulness. To keep remembering to stay right here, stay right here. That way you get to see what connects with what inside. It's like sitting and watching a TV show. If you stay there in the room, you get to know the show from the very beginning to the end. You know what, what causes what, what inspired what. But if you come in and out of the room, you just get little bits and snatches and you're not really sure who did what and why, or what the consequences were. So you try to stay right here. You want to know your mind, stay right here with the mind. And breathe in a way that feels good so the mind is happy to stay here. There may be pains in some parts of the body, but you don't have to focus on those. Focus on the parts that are comfortable. And this way you get to channel the power of the mind. The Buddha's image is of a river, and if you open outlets away from the river, the river doesn't flow very strong. But if no, no outlets, so if there's only one outlet, then the river flowing through that outlet is going to be strong. It's the same with the mind. If your attention is scattered all over the place, the power of the mind gets dissipated. You don't really realize how much power you've got, and you tend to misuse it. You let the mind get wound up in bad moods, and the bad mood just adds more bad mood to the mood. Without realizing the fact that you're focusing on that is what's making it so bad. You can change the, the object of your mind. You can think of things that are actually useful to think about, things that are helpful to think about. And that way the power of the mind gets well used. So learn how to focus the power so you sense how strong it can be. Make it continuous and put it to a good use. This is what the Dharma is for. The word in Pali, atta, A-T-T-H-A, -T -T -A, means goal or purpose. And the Buddha wasn't just talking about things for the sake of talking. He wanted people to take his teachings and put them to use and gain benefit from them. That was his purpose. And you can make it your purpose, too. Take his teachings and put them to good use. That way the power of your mind gets well used. You benefit and the people around you benefit as well.